So throughout the year, we learn a lot about the different basic principles of game development, what all goes into the job of being a game developer. Uh, designers do things like write documentation. They also communicate with the different uh, departments, whether they be artists or programmers, to see their vision implemented into a game. Additionally, we learn a lot about how to use the tools of game development, specifically in our case, how to use Unreal Engine, which is an engine, a suite of tools used by some of the most famous game makers in the industry. Unreal Engine is basically the backbone of any games that you would make with it. Basically, it's like your car engine in your car. It basically makes everything run and do what it's supposed to. For all in all, we're, it's actually pretty easy when it comes to it. Like it's, it's definitely not as hard as I thought it was gonna be because I, I went in thinking that we were going to literally have to type out lines of code, which is way harder to do. But instead, they're pre-made codes that you just have to figure out how to connect. So when it comes to video game design, when we get in there, we usually start off with reading a book on the basics of what makes a game good. After that, we'll either take a quiz on it or we'll go straight into working on our whatever projects we're working on. Well, what we do is um, we take, we use stuff like the Unreal Engine. Like right now we're using the Unreal Engine 5, which is in early access right now. And we've taken it and we're using it to basically create video games. Models, uh, we don't really create models and we don't really create animations, but we do create like the basis of like how things work, how things go about and how things like run. Our main thing is we design video games like such as the levels and how all the mechanics work. So basically everything you see in a video game. Every aspect is creating anything you want with no limitations to the real world, along with the uh, ability to help each other out in creating what we want if there's issues with it. I am very much interested in the blueprints, which is basically Unreal Engine's version of programming. It's a visual programming language where you connect nodes and stuff to make the logic of your game. The, my favorite thing has definitely just got to be the fun environment, being able to work with this tool I've never worked with before, and creating stuff that I've always been able to see on my consoles and my computer, and yeah. Like personally, I want to be a, a concept artist, so I thought, okay, if I learn how it's made, that can help me actually make it, so that way I can understand what it's required for me to be able to draw. Math comes into play in video game design all the time. In fact, uh, if you've ever played as a game like Pac-Man or Galaga, you've got scoring systems. That is numbers adding up to create a score. But also, there's a lot of comparison of numbers going on behind the scenes to determine outcomes of the game. For example, if your hit points get below the number zero, you die. So a lot of math going on behind the scenes, whether it is incrementing things like how much gold you have to how much health or damage that you're doing, that stuff plays a part in just about every video game. Math comes into play in video game design every so often. It's very dependent on which part you're looking at, but it comes into play when it's calculating where your character should go, how fast it's going, and how things interact with each other. Because you need to use math for many things from setting the time of something, or if you need to like set a location, you need it to move over time, or if you just need to have like an ammo counter in your game, like for a shooter game, you can have your ammo. So throughout the year, we learn a lot about the different basic principles of game development, what all goes into the job of being a game developer. Uh, designers do things like write documentation. They also communicate with the different uh, departments, whether they be artists, or programmers to see their vision implemented into a game. Additionally, we learn a lot about how to use the tools of game development, specifically in our case, how to use Unreal Engine, which is an engine, a suite of tools used by some of the most famous uh, game makers in the industry. Also, figuring out if they're more left-brained, logic-based, do they think more like a programmer versus are they more right-brained, do they think more like an artist and are more creative. And figuring out the strengths of each student is uh, essential to getting the most out of them and their skills. 